turn to politics now in the campaign trail. President Trump in Nevada, a battleground he lost in 2016. Last night, Trump supporters packing a rally, most of them without masks and with little social distancing. At the same time, President Trump escalating his attacks on Joe Biden. It's his own comments about playing down the coronavirus that he has yet to escape. Here's ABC's Andrew Dimber. Tonight, Joe Biden and President Trump intensifying their attacks. President Trump threatening to get vicious after the Biden campaign released this ad with allegations the president called fallen war veterans suckers and losers. They put an ad like that up. They're a disgrace. But you know the good part? Now I can be really vicious. I can be really vicious. On Saturday night, Trump holding a rally in Nevada with no social distancing and few supporters wearing masks. He is the worst candidate in the history of presidential politics. He doesn't know he's alive. Biden, who has only recently started making public appearances because of COVID-19, slamming the president, saying Nevadans don't need more bluster from the president and don't need his reckless rallies. This as fallout continues from the president's interviews with Bob Woodward, where he admits to downplaying the coronavirus. I wanted to always play it down. I still like playing it down. Yes, sir. Because I don't want to create a panic. Biden vowing to be transparent if he is elected. I'll take responsibility. I'll acknowledge my mistakes when I make them, and I'll level with the American people. All right, Andrew joins us now from Washington. And Andrew, as the campaign hits the home stretch, a major announcement from former candidate Mike Bloomberg, who was once a rival to Joe Biden, now trying to help him win Florida. Tom, Mike Bloomberg says that he is ready to spend $100 million on Joe Biden in Florida alone. And this announcement comes on the heels of a new poll that shows Trump and Biden in a dead heat in this critical battleground state. Tom. Andrew Dimber for us tonight. Andrew, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.